Back here on Charles Sports Live for everybody's favorite segment. It is quick six time. Grace and Brian in the hot seat on this wonderful Monday night. Let's go ahead and put two minutes on the clock. And Grace, you are up first. After game one against Atlanta for the Panthers, which Panthers position group concerns you the most? Well, this was a group that concerned me before week one, and that was how thin they were at cornerback. And now that we see J.C. Horn go down, that's in, that's that's even more concerning. Yeah, it's definitely pretty, looking pretty thin right there. Hopefully it's not that severe of an injury, but still something we're monitoring. Brian, what does Chris Jones' new deal with the Chiefs mean for Brian Burns and the Panthers? Well, I, I don't know if a one-year deal with Chris Burns, I mean, uh, Chris Jones and what he signed is going to matter much to Brian Burns. Uh, it doesn't help, but I think more of the, uh, the fact that Nick Bosa signed with the 49ers, what that deal was, that could matter more to Brian Burns because they both play DN. Yeah, that's some also, big money. Him playing is loyal, but giving up leverage but is he by uh, coming back and play before he signs that country. True. Grace, you're back up. Which rookie QB impressed the most in their debut this week? Yeah, I mean, you want to say Bryce Young, right? And I don't think he, he definitely wasn't bad, but I'm going to go Anthony Richardson. And just because I think the bar was a little bit lower for him, and I think he over outperformed what people expected of him in week one. He threw a pick as well, bounced back. And I thought that was I thought that was a strong performance from yeah, him. Yeah, pretty solid day for the rook. Brian, we're a few weeks into the college season. Who is your early Heisman favorite right now? Gotta say Shadur Sanders from Colorado looks every bit the part, but also how about Quinn Ewers from Texas yeah. going into Bama and Tuscaloosa and whooping them? Yeah, that was a big win over the weekend. All right, Grace, which NFL team surprised you the most in week one? Uh, can we just take this time to talk about the Jets, what they just did? Yeah, I mean, that, that punt <laughs> return was insane, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there was a, I think I think I was, I would say surprised. I think it was probably Joe Burrow and the Bengals. That was that was surprising. Yeah, hopefully we'll see if they can bounce back. Brian, last one. You opened the season with a dub in our fantasy league. Congratulations. Are you winning it all this year? Well, first off, sorry, Carla. Uh, <laughs> love you, but just, you just didn't have the horses. Where I got Christian McCaffrey and Hayden Hurst, who I said would be my sleeper. How about that? Uh, I have no designs on winning it this year and hope that I won't. Gabe, you got a good team. I do, I do. You know, I, I lost, I actually lost tonight too, so hopefully we can bounce back, but this one of 14 games to go. All right.